Coronation Street has decided to tackle the subject of homosexuality in football. Yeah, it's a big storyline at the moment, isn't it? It sees the aspiring footballer James Bailey struggling with his sexuality, but with no top-tier professional footballers in Britain living openly as gay. Um, and he wanted to go and look into what that might be like. So the soap enlisted the help of rugby league player Keegan Hurst, who first came out in 2015. Uh, and now he's advising Corrie actor Nathan Graham. And so how did you feel then when you heard that a big soap with a huge audience like Coronation Street was going to tackle an issue like this? Because, of course, in our Premier League, in the top tier of football, or it, there is no openly gay footballers. So it's a big issue, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a real big issue. And, we're, you know, we're always talking about um, representation and how important it is for... For all people, you know, to have someone on the TV, especially on a programme as big as Coronation Street, um, and to see someone who looks like you, is like you, represents some aspect of you and your life, um, is really important in normalising, you know, things like being gay and playing sport, which a lot of people for a long time have thought have to be two separate things, which, you know as I've shown, isn't the case. Mm. Well, Nathan, it's lovely to have you on the show. Good to talk to you this morning. What did you think about this storyline, first of all, and um, uh, when you saw it coming up? What did you think of it? And how did you think, right, I want to tackle this? Well, I think, um, you know, obviously, when I first got the job, I, I knew that the I didn't think the storyline was going to be necessarily like create this much noise or be, be this big like obviously it is, is a big issue like echoing what Keegan said and what you guys have said there is no openly gay footballers out there and I think uh, the storyline is shining the light on that and I think it's um, sparking conversations you know in rooms that we might not be in necessarily and you know it seems to be getting a bit of attention which is good and like uh, Keegan said it goes back to representation of you know if Anyone watching it, young kids or anyone that's watching it, that it could help, then that's uh, that's what we hopefully aim to do. And what have you learned? Street. What have you learned from Keegan? What, how has he been able to sort of help you? Well, when Keegan came across, you know, we had a we had a great chat, and uh, he told me about you know his experience of him, you know, like the stages he he went through of you know first telling his friends and family, then it was your teammates, I believe, the club, and then it was uh, coming out publicly. And uh, I don't want to tell Keegan's story, but he, he, sort, of said oh, to, <laughs> he, he sort of said to me that it, um, it kind of got easier as it, as it went along. So, like, the hardest part was telling, telling his friends and family, yeah, then his teammates and club, and then by the time it came to coming out publicly... Easy, that bit. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's interesting, Keegan, isn't it? Because, of course, as Nathan was saying, I mean, we, we have uh, openly gay footballers who have retired. Uh, they have decided to come out since retiring because yeah. they feel more capable of being able to, 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 to face the football in public once they've retired. Clearly, there must be some gay footballers that are playing at the moment that don't feel comfortable, just don't feel like uh, the football world is ready, which is a real shame, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's such a shame because, you know, if, if you can't be 100% who you are, um, you know, that, that takes a bit of mental capacity to, mm. to keep that up. Um, but football's a completely different beast to rugby. Um, you know, the, the fan base is much bigger, it's global. Um, there's, there's big support and money comes in from parts of the world that being gay is illegal. In some places, it's punishable by death. Um, you know, and it, so there's there's lots lots and lots of moving parts. Um, and as a sportsman, you are being part of your job is being judged on on your performance, and you don't want to anything to detract from that or to add fuel to any fire. Um, so I guess it's understandable, you know, if fifty thousand people are, there's the fear of fifty thousand people chanting something. Well, you'd, you'd hope that you know football stadiums have calmed down on that, and 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 the, they are working on, on things to prevent that happening. Mm. But that I imagine that is the fear that that footballers have of of being judged. Yeah, and there's and there's a fight to get rid of anything like that, isn't there? Any kind of discrimination and reaction. Nathan, what kind of reaction have you had from from mm. fans of Corrie and and from people generally when you've been out and about? 
Uh, Good, I believe. Like sometimes I don't really go like looking for it because I think you know that's a, a web you can fall into. You, you're going to find both sides of the coin. But like people that I've um, interacted with, that I've come into contact with on the street, have uh, you know said that it's a good storyline and that it is it's needed, which is which is good. But it's also unfortunate that like we're at, we're in 2020 and it's like this is still a big big issue that you know necessarily shouldn't be be an issue nowadays you know there was just in fashion who came out which was 30 years ago and like i said i believe like the world has moved on like in a in a lot of areas and like um what he suffered back then was terrible and i'd like to think that if it was was to happen mm. like now mm. it wouldn't be as bad but there's still that fear mm. and negativity around it which it's uncharted territory isn't it yeah and it, like it's 2020, I don't feel like we should be in that position. No. Really. Um, it's great, Corey is always so good at tackling these issues and doing it in a way that, that as you say, gets the nation talking. So good to talk to you this yeah, morning. Yeah, and great to hear from you as well, Keegan. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you.